Lift your voice and appreciate him. Appreciate him, thank him. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we say thank you for because our eyes have truly seen your mighty hand beyond expectation yesterday. We thank you for because by your grace we are privileged to partake of that. Father, we know you have more for us today. As our hearts are open unto you, Holy Spirit, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Feed everyone with a measure of grace that will be sufficient to run the race. That we be not weary. In Jesus' name we pray. You can say better, amen. Is that how far you can truly appreciate the Lord? Please, you may have your seat in one moment. I know that those of them, those of us who were around yesterday, have informed those of you who refused to come. Nothing has what it takes to stop you. Life is pending on willpower. It is at your will to do or not to do. I will thank God for the grace that today is also included. How many of you know today is designed for you? Many of us, we have chopped yesterday. We want to chop over those today. Please, there's something I want us to understand. The grace of God has no specific measure. It is up to you as a person. And that is why the grace of God is like a water. When you go to the stream, the water itself, the stream itself did not, he, the water itself or the stream will not be the one to determine what you draw. You determine what you draw. It's always up to you what you can carry. That's what you draw from the stream. Is it not so? And that is what the grace of God stands for. It is up to you the capacity of what you can draw. And that determines the fruit of that is the evidence of the miracles. So when your testimony is, has a specific limit, it's because of what you can draw as a person. Not because God cannot do far beyond that. How many of you agree to that? I don't know the kind of thing you came in here with. If you have basket, go and drop the basket. Basket can take anything along. It is better to have a little cup of one liter than to carry a big basket. Which means if your heart is not here, it's like carrying a basket. So please empty yourself and have hunger to receive. took 10 years plus to put what God has put together for us. You know what it means 10 years to sort for the grace. Sorry to say one six told me yesterday. We have not seen such before. Do we have people in the house who are hungry to eat? sleep through the night because I was, there was an expectation in my heart for today. If 
you come in here and by tomorrow you have not had something as an evidence, it means you came with baskets. Please, if there are things that bother you, drop them aside. Increase your hunger to receive. Increase your what? Your hunger to receive. It's my honor and my privilege, AJ, let's be on our feet as we welcome Papa. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Zion children here. I say shout hallelujah. Glory. When it's time for you to shout hallelujah, your hallelujah need to bring down this roof. We are capable of replacing it. That song says hallelujah. 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 Jesus has a victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us have a rejoicing microphone, it will get to a stage where we will tell him what to do. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate the man of God in the house. I thank God that at this time and season that men choose to run away from the calling of God, you choose to stand firm with God. I thank God for your life. I appreciate what God is doing through you. Please applause this great man of God. Applaus him. It's not easy. It's not easy. In my years in ministry, I came to find out that many say God called me but it is their belly that caused them. A little storm, they fall out. For him to say, since nine years, standing here to preach, it is not just size 42. To carry the call of God abroad is times two in Nigeria. 
If you are in the race, you know what I'm talking about. But the Bible said the race is not for the strong. But it is God that always stretch forth his hands to take us to where he wants us to be. God will take somebody here today to where he wants you be. Oh, that amen is not good enough for me. Can I hear the believers say amen? He will orchestrate your destiny to reality. Under the anointing of this servant of God, please hear him. You want to attain the next level? Don't look down on him. Many of you might be shouting, Daddy, Daddy, right on, Daddy, right on. Because I'm a stranger here. You value me. If you don't value your pastor, don't value me. He might be too conversant with you. The reason why Jesus couldn't do much in his own land was see finish. Is this not the son of a carpenter? We know him now. Even he was born under. Mm, 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 mm. We don't know. Mm, mm. But thank God mm, mm, came to save the world. Come on, somebody say, I hear you, God. He might be slim, he might be thin, he might not be very fat, but I know him. Yesterday, I told him here, I said, if you think you are senior than this man, or this man, say, if they add this man and myself together, we are senior to you, am I right? Uh, many of you will now say, talk to him. Talk to him. Oh, Yes. But I want to let us know one thing today. <laughs> oh, glory be to God. His age alone covers you all. His age. I'm not saying grace, age. Do you know why? He has been called man of God. And the oldest man in the whole wide world is God. So if you don't respect him, you are not respecting God then don't respect your blessing. Put your hand together for your man of God in the house. <laughs> Praise the Lord. May the Lord continue to oil your forehead. May the grace to do exploits be sufficient for you. May God take you from nothing to something. May they that look down on you come to count on you. Joseph was looked down by his brethren. How can you reign over us? What gave you that audacity? If you did not sleep well, go and sleep again. But my Bible tells me when the hour came, Somebody say the hour. Somebody say the hour. When the hour came, they that were as spoken was the first person to bow down. If God is lifting you higher, they that say who are you, they are the one that will first say rah, rah, rah. God will take you there. And every one of you that is walking with him in sincerity, I see you on the top. I said, I see you on the top. If you believe it, say, yes, I hear you, Lord. The grace is sufficient. Praise the Lord. Let me appreciate the woman of God. Yesterday, you did something that I did not like. She brought over feeding for me. In fact, she almost reduced the anointing. (laughs) 
You want to overflow in anointing? Eat little. Daniel told the chief chamberlain. He said, listen, this food that the king has prepared for us is not good enough for me. You just give me vegetable and water. You want to flow in the anointing? Eat less food. Too much food makes you dizzy. Am I talking to somebody here? Last night while I was praying for this city, the Lord opened my eyes to see certain things that we are going to pray about now. When the time of prayer comes, please don't keep quiet. Tap your neighbor and say, don't keep quiet. So this woman wanted to bribe me and give me over fill. I ate to my capacity. Like the man of God said just now, take to your capacity. I ate to my capacity and I covered the order. I said, thank you, man. God bless you. Please applause this great woman of God. Hallelujah. You will not mislead him. You will stand as one that will say, wherever you die, I will die. Your God will be my God. Hallelujah. Please, I want to preach to believers here today. Not Christians. There is a difference between Christian and a believer. Man of God, do I preach to Christian or believers? Because Jesus said to as many that receive me, to them I give the power to become not Christian, to become a son of God the identity of heaven, the glory will come down. So, I have come for somebody here today. I want to appreciate the elders, the ministers, the workers that have been doing this great work. When I entered here yesterday, I feel at home. Please, applause these wonderful ministers and workers that God has been using to do his work. Hallelujah. I will ask you to sit down for the next one minute. You know that the dangerous department in the church is the singing department. Then I face you. By the grace of God, if you follow us in this program with your heart, your album will not take time before it comes out. <laughs> Sit down. God bless you. <laughs> Yesterday we we stopped somewhere, and today we want to kick the ball rolling. Amen. And I made us to understand yesterday here that the only thing that we ever Make a difference in your life is the Spirit of God. Am I right? Because even Pharaoh saw it in the life of Joseph. Pharaoh witnessed it, noticed it. You see, when you carry the Spirit of God, it is not difficult to know. It is only those that are not in the spirit that will not be able to design it. Because the Bible says, test all spirit and see that which is of the Lord. If you carry the spirit of God, you know. If you carry the man more spirit, you know. Every man knows what is put on. Am I right? If you ask me what I put on, I will tell you what I put on. If I ask this man what he put on, he will tell me what he put on. So you all know who you are in Christ. Whether you are for him or you are not for him. But I just pray that after this program, you will be for him. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Today, I want to speak on another area you must understand to make a difference in life. Praise the Lord. I told your pastor yesterday that I'm sorry you choose a, a team that can take us for the whole year. But the little I can do today, I will do, then he'll continue from there. Praise the Lord. What is the theme of this program? My case. My case. My case. My case. My case is different. If every other person go and they don't succeed, I will succeed. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh boy, if you go, you did not succeed. Does not mean that I will not succeed. If you invest on that business, you fail. Does not mean I will fail. Do you know what will give you that confidence? Because you know who you are. Before you can tap your chest and say, my case is different, you must know who you are. A time came that the sons of the prophets wanted to prove that they carried the power of God. The demon looked at their forehead and their eyeballs and I said, what is this one trying to do? Do you know what you are trying to say? They began to blast in tongues, say all kinds of things. The demon simply came close to them and said, who are you? Jesus, I know. He knows that the case of Paul is different. He knows that that of Jesus is different. But yes, he did not see any difference. You are like me now. What's wrong with you? Stop pretending. When it's time to pray, we ask us, let's go to God in tongues. You begin to learn the one you learn from the tape. No. Let your case be different. But today, I want to speak on one end in your life that you must understand. The finger of God. If your case must be different, you need the finger of God. Whom am I going to preach to right now? In Exodus chapter 8, can a fast reader quickly stand on your feet and let's take these Bible passages one after the other. So as you can see what the finger of God can do in the life of his children. Praise the Lord. Exodus chapter 8. Please quickly help me go to verse number 16. Moses, stretch out your rod. Strike the dust of the land and let there be lies everywhere. Somebody say power. power. We are about to attain the realm of the spirit now. Please wind up your engine. Praise the name of the Lord. Stretch out your rod. Let me prove to Pharaoh that my case is all that you have been doing you succeeded but today this case is different. All that they've been doing in your life and they succeed tell your neighbor today my case is different. Right on. Can I stand until I ask you to sit down? 
Or you preach with me. Praise the Lord. Go to verse 17. They did so for Aaron stretched out his rod, and they all saw the miracle of God. Is somebody ready to stretch out his rod? Praise the name of the Lord. Is somebody ready to stretch out the rod? And I want you to stretch out that rod now and say. Every case that is before me that have been hindering my joy, I command you cease operation. Turn it to God in prayer right now. And the Lord said, Stretch out your rod, stretch out your rod, and strike. your rod in faith, expect the power of God to be made manifest. I say, expect the power of God to be made manifest. In the name of Jesus, I came with a mandate that someone here will be the light of your family. They've said it years back. No great person will imagine your family. Today, your case is different. Today your case is different. God is going to orchestrate his power in your life and your case will be turned around for good. Somebody say, I hear you, God. In your
your family not until the ladies get to 35 they don't find who will say hello it's a cause I came with a mandate that that cease to exist in your family stretch out your rod and say Lord Jesus whatever has been setting my family back I stand as a Joseph of my family. It is broken in the name of Jesus. Turn it to God in prayers right now. Yes. 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 Isako Shandalaba, Reprasa Palapa, Isuka Palapalikepe, Yakatalaba, is somebody praying? Yes, Leko Korea Palapa, Hallelujah, Ezekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatekatek
see a difference. You don't look for the fall of the pastor. Do I preach on? The Bible stated that Pharaoh called for the magicians. He trusted the magicians. And when the magicians came, they began to do their orchestration. Began to do everything. But because God said their time is over. Everyone that have been working against your life, their time is over. Yeah. Oh no! Do I preach your believers? I said their time is over. Yeah. Tell your neighbor it's my time. Yeah. Tell two three person it's my time. Your case is different. Your case is different. Your case is different. Your case is different. Wherever they take your name to, your name will be a torment to them. Uh, who am I preaching to? Hey, When God is interested in your case, you become a winner. Let me let you know it. That nobody knows your tomorrow. Even your wife. Is your wife here? Yes, sir. Yeah, she's just behind you. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Can you tell of it's tomorrow? But the only person that can speak of his tomorrow is God. So don't put your trust in man. This is my counsel for every man. Never you put your trust on man. Put your trust in God. Men will fail you. But God. But God. But God. They may say it last night that you will not make it. But you came in here to make it. Hey, pastor, they may tell somebody close to you. Let's see how that church will move on. They are coming to see that you are looking for a bigger hall. Hey, the Bible is clear to this. That when God says a thing, it comes. Then the magicians did all they could. Play all the game they know how to play. But one thing was sure. In verse number 19. Can we see to it? Oh glory. <laughs> and the magicians said unto Pharaoh. Hey, I don't know who is your Pharaoh. I don't know who has been going after your life. I don't know the power that has been working against you. But the finger of God is here today. I said the finger of God is here today. The finger of God is here today. The finger of God is here today. Is here today. Is in the name of Jesus. Somebody shall glory. When the finger of God is upon your life, men see the light of God in you. Uh, do I preach on church? <laughs> the magicians confess. Pharaoh, this case you are seeing now is beyond our... Pharaoh, we know you are a hard man. But myself and my family, we want to save ourselves. I hands up. So your enemy will hands up in your case. So your enemy will hands up in your case. I speak to you, your case is different. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
The Bible stated, have you measured the finger of God? Pharaoh gave up. Hey, you mean you couldn't do nothing? If God be for us. I say, if God be for us. I repeat, if God be for us. Man of God, one thing is to shout, who can be against us? But what if you are the one that is against yourself? Philippians 3, 9. Let me show somebody what to do. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you, one thing is to, for you to say God is for me. Are you for him? Let me hear you, sir. Yes. Hallelujah. What did Paul say? Be found in Christ. Before you can stand to say, God be for me, you must be found in Christ. No, not when you are in a subliquid matter. Not when you are in black hair, yeah. Not when you are in blue beret and you say God is in you, is a lie. There is no power there. My father has took my picture to a subliquid fraternity. When she got there, she dropped my picture to them. And as they were facing death to eliminate my life, ah, the God that I have not even given my life to completely, because he is interested in me, because he has a plan for me. Come on, who, who, is, who is this that God is talking to? He has a plan for you. I have not even surrendered to Jesus completely like this, but God was fighting my case. He told them, now, this picture here, the case is different. This woman did everything, paid all the price. But another one came out and said, ah, who, which picture am I seeing? Is this not Kingsley? No, 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 no. This meeting is canceled. Whatever it will cost, I will pay. And this, the other, my father's wife was now angry. Who are you? Who are you? Do we fight against each other? This woman said, this time around we will fight. When God stands for you, your enemies begin to fight themselves. And I pray over your life. All day that I'll be saying that your life will not make sense. Your life will not be meaningful. You need to fight themselves after today. I came with a mandate to put confusion in their camp. I came with a mandate to put confusion in their camp. If you believe it, shout a believer and say amen. Listen, church. Sit down if you can. God bless you. Now, before God can be for you, you must live your life for him. When this woman succeeded, in stopping their action, she came to me and said, son, be very careful. Your father's wife is after you. I now look at my father's wife. Do you know why she went after me? Because my father was a native doctor. Every year they do their Igwe festival. They always from Benin here. You are from Benin, sir. You know what is Igwe Festival? Every year that when they are doing Igwe Festival, my father will be praying, Lord, give me. He will be using the uh, God of this, 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 give me more children. I will not have my father. Upon 36 children, I'm still looking for more children. What, what's wrong here, Baba? Shut up! Yes, sir. But we are too much now. You are putting, putting problem down. Not knowing that this woman was not happy with that statement. Because she has not given birth to my father. 
So she was seeing me to be her obstacle. That was why she sneak my picture away from my house. And took it to the Asherah. It's not all head you can kill. Put your hand on your forehead and say, I'm, un I'm unkillable. <laughs> say it one more time, I'm unkillable. <laughs> my case is different. As they mentioned it three, four times, I simply just told this woman, I said, even though I don't serve God very well, I know that God is with me. This woman tried it first time, second time. The third time, they just called her. They said, this boy, if you don't remove your hand, you will die before him. She surrendered. If God be for you, who can be against you? The magicians confessed that this one is beyond our measure. We can't do nothing about this. So they will confess. This church is beyond us. We can't do anything about it. Let us leave them alone. I know that amen is so weak. Hallelujah. Is somebody still with me? Now let me bring your mind back again to the finger of God. Luke chapter 11. The finger of God is a note for you. Amen. The finger of God is enough. That was what kept Daniel in the right track with God. That made Daniel to call for the chamberlain. Say, come. Forget food. Just give us vegetables. You know why? You don't know what the king used to prepare that food. But vegetable is from the Lord. It's not all table you eat. Do I preach to somebody? There are some tables that is prepared before you to kill you. But the table of the Lord that was prepared before David, his cup and his table run over. That is the kind of table you are going to eat today. Can I hear you? Luke chapter 11. The finger of God. Please take note of this word. The finger of God. Is what will make the difference in your life. Praise the Lord. It was not that Daniel was too wise. In Daniel chapter 1 from verse 8 to 20. There, if you read there, you see the wisdom that was upon the life of Daniel. It was not because Daniel was too wise. It was the finger of God that was upon his life. Because, now, let me let you know a thing about the finger before we read. A finger that is pointed like this could be for direction. Am I talking to somebody here? Finger pointed like this could be for direction. Please, where is the, where is uh, Via Umberto? What is the finger doing? And who is directing it? The person you ask. Is giving you direction. So if you come to God over your life, he will give you direction. Am I talking to somebody here? The finger of God can direct you to your destiny. You don't need to struggle. I hate when believers begin to fight for themselves. He just go to God, his finger will just point. <laughs> when God is interested in you, your case is settled. The finger can as well be a warning. Is that true? The finger can as well be a warning. Look, I warn you from today. Never you step on my toes. If God warn any nation, that nation is finished. Check how many times Israel fell. It was when they walked out of God's ordinance. God will say, you have disobeyed my voice. Your enemy will rule over you. Have you not heard it? Yes, sir. Is it not in your Bible? So if you are suffering in Italy today, check yourself if you are still with God. 
I did not come to paint your face. If you want to know the original person, if you want to know how handsome or beautiful this woman is, tell that woman to wash away the pancake. You will see her beauty or her ugliness. They, you know, they have so paint themselves, they will not become dumb baby. I told one of my son in the faith, I said, if you must bring any of my daughter to me, or any woman you want to marry, let that woman come in reality, no pancake. Mary Kay has spoiled so many things. Facebook have destroyed many faiths. What they see on Facebook. The next thing you will hear, Ew! if I don't marry her, I will die. You will die in poverty. You need a responsible girl. Check Facebook. If you don't find that girl there, she's responsible. Oh. A responsible girl does not advertise herself. Her character advertises her. Hope you are not offended. <laughs> if they are laughing at you today, tell them that your case is different from today. Praise the name of the Lord. The finger of God can also be a point of channel, a point of communication. Moses, come back and kneel down before this bunny bush. Let me commission you. Am I speaking to somebody? Please, I might be teaching and be preaching. Follow me gradually. Praise the Lord. But when the finger of God is at work, you see miracle everywhere. And I bring that finger to your life today. A woman was at the point of death in France, in Rouen. And I, God did it or planned it that I'd be in their all night program. I ministered for them three days there. But when this woman stepped her feet into the auditorium, the Lord opened my eyes to see death around her. And I called her out. I said, your casket is broken. They thought I was joking. I speak not by my power. But by the all chance of God. And I declared over her life. I said, Mark, today, they will tell you that we planned it before, but we failed. When I returned back to Italy, the pastor called me and said, Man of God, somebody needs your address. I said, My address? He said, Yes. I said, Okay. But do you permit that person? He said, Why not, sir? Daddy, we really want to have it done. I said, okay, give it to him. On one faithful day, I saw one big boss. All kind of perfume you can name. All kind of gifts. I now saw the letter in there that this woman you prayed for and destroyed her casket from the kingdom of darkness is the owner of this gift to you. That my father's wife confessed that they tried to kill me, but fire entered the coven. And that woman died in place of this woman. The finger of God can do the extraordinary. Don't play with that. Luke chapter 11. Let's just see the word of finger. The finger. Luke 11, read from verse 12. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. How much more? But the Holy Spirit to them. How many of you really ask of the Holy Spirit? You remember that was what I spoke about yesterday. That if you must make difference in your life, you need the Spirit of God. But every one of you do ask for arrow, arrow, 
arrow, arrow. Arrow is paper now. In fact, when you are sick, arrow cannot talk. I have never seen any man at the point of death, they just throw arrow and he wake up again. But even when Jesus was dead, the Bible stated that the spirit of the Lord came and rested upon him and life came back. Why are you looking for that are not valuable? What did I say? As against you searching for error and you leave Christ, man of God, do you have weekly activities here? Do we find them here like this? Many are running after fabrica today. Many are running after things that cannot elevate them. Let me let you know, if I choose to work in fabrica, I resign by myself. I worked 14 years in the factory. And I told my company, no more. I was called as an apostle. By the grace of God, the Lord have used me to establish four branches in Italy. And I stand to go as length as where he will send me. By the grace of God, next year, we shall commission Lagos branch. If God be God, you must be his apostle. And do you know that if I have chosen to work with Cascade International, you will not know me. Will you know me? Will you know me, sir? But because I choose to follow God everywhere in the world, from Canada, from U.S., from Australia, Daddy, we are not seeing you online. Daddy, we are not seeing you anymore. Who is this small man called Kingsley? But if God be for you, you are great. I see that greatness in this place. Man of God, I was told last night to pray for 15 persons a year. In the next five years, you are going to have millionaires in this place. Now, when you seek the spirit of God, you seek the finger of God. Am I teaching here? Forgive me if I'm preaching along with it. When you seek the spirit of God, you seek the finger of God. Because in the finger of God is the power. Hear what Jesus said. Go ahead. Okay, let me. Let. Hallelujah. When he told them what they need to seek. Like many of you seek for money, seek for cars, seek for house. Many of you are against you seeking the spirit of God. You are seeking for what? A different thing. But when he has succeeded in opening their eyes to tell them what they need to seek, he begin to cast out demons, to let them know that arrow does not cast out demons. There are many seated here, they are possessed. If you look at me, I blind you. There are many here seated. They can't look at my eyes twice because they know who they are and I know whom I am. But arrow is with them. Arrow cannot cast out the demon. But with the spirit of God in your life, when you speak to that demon, out, they just give way. Praise the Lord. If your life must be different, you must be for Christ. What did I say? Daniel said, try me for 10 days. For just 10 days. If you see that my eyes go down, you know that I'm not qualified. Can you fast for 10 days? In the third day, you are sneaking and looking. And like a son of mine said, Daddy, I want to fast. I said, okay, fast for three days. On the second day, he said, Daddy, Something is biting me here. <laughs> I said, you don't mean it. Something is biting you. Then what is that? They said, I don't know. It looks like stomach ulcer. I said, it's hunger. <laughs> Do you know who I? He's not used to it. Christians can no longer fast again. Believers can no longer empty their belly. And you want to be a child of God with power. 
Jesus told his disciples, this power cannot come except by fasting and prayer. Now, who am I talking to here? Don't deceive yourself. We all know who we are. Hear me, the church. How many of you love this church? Please don't fight against yourself. If you want me to come next year, because your pastor said maybe this year again, but if God permits, if you want me to come next time and see this church feed up, don't fight against yourself. Let me tell you what destroys church. What you cannot do, you see somebody doing it. Don't envy that person. It destroys church very fast. Do you know why you must not envy them? Everyone has a case to handle. We were all born differently. We were not born the same day. We did not carry the same calling. We did not carry the same anointing. I tell you, every man of God carries grace. If you look down on your pastor, there is a grace he carries that I do not carry. And I will never envy him for it. I will... Instead of me to envy him, I draw him closer to do that area that I don't know how to do. I your sharpen it. Come on, can I preach to church? I your sharpen it. Tell somebody our case is different. Mm. The day you begin to envy your neighbor, the anointing of God begins to drop. People still see you that you carry the anointing. It's a lie. Man of God, I hope they will not fight you if I leave. You want this church to grow? Unite yourself. I'm going to pray a prayer of unity for you. If any man offends you, go to him, tell him straight, you offended me, but I'm forgiving you. That when you stand to pray, your prayer will reach heaven. That when you stand to pray, miracle will follow. That when you stand to pray, signs and wonders will follow. Who am I preaching to here? The finger of God does all this. Praise the Lord. He said, if you say I cast a demon with the power of darkness... Then which means you are telling me now that the house is divided against itself. And if a house is divided against, can it stand? So which means the answer is this miracle is not from the kingdom of darkness. It is the finger of God. Can I hear you verse 19? Go for that. Okay. hear that, hear that. If I bet with the finger of God cast a devil <laughs> glory 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 the church of God needs the finger of God that the kingdom of God will come upon us I don't preach religion I preach the kingdom whether you are a Muslim, you belong to me. You are Hindu, you belong to me. Because when God created us, it is our understanding that separates us from religion. Am I preaching to somebody? Oh, no, 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 no. God is the same yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. By the finger of God, miracles have been wrought. Command you, demon, get out. What was what pointed before? What pointed? What pointed? You are going to point to three things that have been disturbing your life. 
This is the hour of moment. This is the time. 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 I speak. Get out of her. Get out. What did I say? Leave her now. The finger of God is setting her loose. that is looking at her, are you free? The finger of God. I say the finger of God. I declare the finger of God. The anointing of God. Release that grace. Now, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> ah, let it be. Come out. Yes. <laughs> the finger of God makes the difference. Your life from today becomes different. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shall glory. If by the finger of God I cast out demon, then with me is the kingdom of God. That's God. What is the theme again? So do you know what makes your case different now? And what is that? And what is that? And what is that? Somebody shall glory! For time. For time. That finger of God is still available. I said it before. The Lord asked me to pray for 15 persons that are into business. He wants to make a millionaire out of them. Last night, you all were sleeping. I refused to sleep. I don't go to program and sleep. I go to program and be awake. Jesus said, can't you watch with me for one hour? So I came for you. I'm a servant today. Use me. Praise the Lord. Can I have that 15 persons here? Because I have a limited time. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I said 15. We have more than 15. Oh, Rabba Sekete. Hello, Bohata. Iba lokete rabro santa ke vie ne bohoto hala basote limbro saki kabro sandala bahimbo sante ke bohi karama sote lakuke ya kusoto hata rambo sikala to become that which God says you are you will not lack in the name of Jesus grace to become that which God says you are receive it now in the name of Jesus you will not lack Grace. <laughs> ha. Yes. By the finger of God. Printed. Yes. You will not lack. You will be who 
God says you are. Man of God, come. Let me hand over him to you. There are a group of persons you need not to associate with. You hear me? I'm handing him over to you. Do not judge me. There are a group of people we ought to stay away from. For his greatness to speak for us. I don't speak anyhow. If you hear God today, you will search for my number sometime. Go. It is well with you. The grace to be who God says you are, I release upon you. Go and be great as he has designed you for. In the name of Jesus, in that which you lay your hands to do in righteousness, I command prosper. I command prosper. I command prosper. Whatever has been scattering your finances is broken. The grace. To be who God says you are. Pa! Loose that hand of favor upon him now, upon her now. In the name of Jesus, you will not lack. Your hand will carry your blessings. In the name of Jesus. The grace to be who God says you are, I release upon you. Amen. Your greatness will not pass you by. Amen. And your stubbornness will not remove you from it. Amen. In the name of Jesus, the grace to be who God says you are, I release upon you. grace to be who God says you are. In the name of Jesus, I release that abundance grace upon you. Life is all about what you know. grace to be who God says you are, I release upon you. This year, your case will be different. In the name of Jesus, the grace to be who God says you are, I release upon you. This year, your case will be different. This year, It is well with you. The glory of God will distinguish you for light. In the name of Jesus. You shall be great, but you need to follow Christ faithfully. In Jesus' name. The grace to be who God says you are I release upon you. May the things of this world not remove you from his kingdom. In the name of Jesus. People have seen you today. Tomorrow they will speak of good of you. Receive it. The grace I release upon you. You shall be who God says you are. In the name of Jesus. From today your case is different. 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 Case is different. Case is different. I speak. As a servant of God, over your life, it is broken. It is broken. It is broken. Now. Come on.
that greatness will speak forth in your life. Receive it. Receive it. The grace to be satali kaprosi e lembro kalipa sote lamba sate lande kete posa. Yes. Let it flow. Let it flow over him now. Now, 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 now. The grace to be who God says you are. I release upon you today. Lose her to her greatness. Uh-huh. Shaka tapasat in the bosa. Nake bosa limbra tonte. I speak by the finger of God you are set loose today mark the end of setback in Jesus name hand over that man to me the grace to be who God says you are Every hindrance in the past, every hindrance in the past is broken in the name of Jesus. I speak as an oracle of God. Wherever you failed before, after this anointing, you will succeed in it. Receive it. I command you now. Lose her and let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Shut up. Shut up. Keep quiet. Come on. Keep quiet. In the name of Jesus. You foul spirit. Out now. I command you out. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Talibosa.
this mountain. Must be removing Jesus' name.
please, man of God, spare me the time. They, they can't help you. It's Jesus that can help you. Stop doing that. They can't help you, please. It's Jesus. Take her to her seat. She's delivered. She's delivered. Come on, somebody shout glory. We are in for victory. Your case different. is different. <laughs> eh, your case is different. Come here. Your case. Sit down, sit down, madam, sit down. Let me have the oil. Sit down. They said you will not deliver sin. But I came here. dedication of this child. Give me a week notice. I will be here. We will hear the voice of that baby. We will hear your voice. I know it's half of me, man of God. Can I go on, church? The power of God was able to bring Lazarus back to life. The woman with the issue of blood, only the hem of the garment was sufficient. Am I talking to somebody here? Receive your healing. 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 It is settled. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory! I have a few more minutes. Okay. Beginning. Jesus told this woman, said, go, your faith Go, your faith has made you whole. Come, yes. Man of God, I have a few more minutes, but I want us to do something here. For those that their document has been held bound, they come out. Yes, it is you you reign in my life. Today you will reign. I'm ready forevermore. Yes, today you reign. You reign in my life. Today I come and reign. I'm ready forevermore. I say yes, it is.
all this for the document? Okay, if there is some are there, okay. Now, you are in for your document, am I right? I hope you are not serving God because of document. We should come to him the way we are. Not for what we want. We should serve him for who he is. Not for who we are. Or what we want to be. Is somebody hearing me? If you are here, your case in that questura is different now. I came for you. I came for you. In my years in ministry, when God speaks, and I speak it out, it stands short. So your document that that man, that woman has been sitting upon is releasing the name of Jesus. I speak into your life. That document, that document, that document, that document is releasing the name of Jesus. Somebody shall glory. Put those hands together for the Lord Jesus. I need the workers. You are a worker under this ministry. Please come out. Man of God, permit me to do this. You are not the one who sent me. You only called. But he sent me. Praise the Lord. You are a worker under this ministry. Come out. Whether as an usher, whether as a singer, a teacher, a prayer warrior, an evangelist, any department you are, I want to assure you that if you do the work of the ministry in sincerity from today, your case will be different. Amen. Those who know me knows I don't exaggerate. I speak what God says. He asked me to pray with you. And if you are not in for sincerity, if I lay my hands on you, it will be something else. So that I do say it. If you know you don't want to walk in this ministry in faith, in truth, and in spirit, we have one more minute for you to take up a decision and go back to your seat. But if you are in, the grace is available. What did I say? If you are in, the grace is available. Man of God, come here. Praise God. He's your pastor. I'm a guest. You will place your hands on them, and my hands will be on your shoulder. Where do we start from? Okay. Grace to yourself. Grace to yourself. Grace to yourself. Grace to be strong. Grace to be strong. Grace to be strong. Never be weak in the name of Jesus. Grace to be strong. Never be weak in the name of Jesus. Grace to be strong and never be weak in the name of Jesus. Grace to be strong and never be weak in the name of Jesus. Grace to be strong and never be weak in the name of Jesus. You will do exploits. You will do exploits. You will do exploits. You will do exploit. The finger of God will be made manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shall glory. Somebody shall glory. Somebody shall glory. We are rounding up. Hope you are not offended. We are rounding up. I have time. I don't, I'm a preacher that does not beat time you give me. Excepting there is a note that goes back there, I continue. I was giving one o'clock. We are on one o'clock. Give God praise.
is committed? Is the man committed? Oh. In my church, in our church, I don't put the hand of the wife on top of the man. But now that your wife is more committed than you, she will come and put her hand on your shoulder. Now, fabrica or business. Bring all the children for me. All the children, bring them out. I'm true with them. Jesus said, bring the little ones to me. Bring them to me. They are, they are of the kingdom. If you don't have a child yet, come out. I will lay my hands on you. You believe in God for the fruit of the womb. Come out. The day, your case, your case is settled. Your case is different. Come on, somebody shout glory! So the ones that can walk will still remain. Hallelujah. Glory. The grace. Halebo sakata pachita. Is it your daughter? It's your daughter. Where's madam? In the name of Jesus. Yes. That's it. It's settled. Please bring her up in the fear of God, okay? Grace. 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 Grace to fulfill destiny. 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 You will be greater than your parents. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Do I, do I still have any other children? Okay, I'm coming to the matured ones. The children, I said I want to deal with the. Okay, no, I think I have grace to fulfill destiny. 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 Woman, what is it now? Let us close for today now.
you will not encounter it anymore. Somebody shall glory. glory. Grace to fulfill destiny. Are we true? Are we true? Are we true? If we are true, somebody shout glory. If you are blessed, shout glory. Let me hear the believers. Hallelujah. Put those hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I want to give you just one prayer point for this church. If you are in line with me and you are in agreement with me, 
please do as I say. Pastor, this is the word of God for you. The Lord said I should pray with this church, but you have to pray first. That any soul that the enemy wants to take to reduce this church will bring back a life and will send the devil back to where he belongs. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer before I pray with you. I pray with you today that whoever the devil we want to use to deny this church of our glory I call back life to that person in the name of Jesus thank you Abba Father in Jesus name Lord Paul pray for the church of Corinth I have come not by my power I came by your order I stand representing you physically but spiritually you are in charge I pray this day that no sudden death will be reckoned in this church I pray this day no soul will be missing in this church I pray this day Every satanic agent sees their operation in this church. In the name of Jesus, I release you into abundance. I release you into grace. In Jesus' name, I love you all. Hallelujah. Please, I want us to bow our head and just begin to appreciate the Lord for all that we have just received. Just begin to appreciate Him. Lift your voice and just begin to thank Him. Appreciate God for because He has fed us. Appreciate Him for what we know that we have just gotten from Him. Lift your voice in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Father, we say thank you for because of a true fact you have used your sent servant to truly address issues that will truly make our life an addition to this nation a blessing to the government a blessing to our era and a blessing to our generation Father we pray that you refill him mightily that he will never run dry. Heavenly Father, we say thank you for all that you have done through him. In Jesus' name, we pray. Please, we can shout a big amen one more time. Say it loud and clear one more time. How many of you are truly blessed by that? I am your pastor. I'm in position to truly tell you every word he speaks and the people who he talk to it. I alone know the people and themselves and everything he says to individual, they are all facts. He have not known them, he's meeting them for the very first time to tell you the spirit of liberty. The spirit of what? 
I know every one of us, we have cause to celebrate God for that. That before or Sunday, your testimony will begin to jump testimonies. Please, if you are with your tithe, just come forward. We know our time for, for lame people are close. If you are paying your tithe, please do that very fast. Just come forward right now. Falling, please don't run. You can wait till any time and just go. So you take the benediction. Father, we pray in the name of the Most High God. You say we should bring the tithe into the house of the Lord. That you alone, God, will open the windows of heaven and command the blessings and rebuke devourer from our homes, from our family, from our finance. Lord, we pray this day that so be it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' blessed and mighty name we pray. Please, God, take us on high praise as we take our offering. May every hand be stronger than the hands of their enemies. In any area that we are faced with challenge, even from today, your hand will climb them as if nothing ever exists. Father, from what we have received today, we declare them into total manifestation. Let our life truly portray what we have received. In Jesus' 
blessed and mighty name we pray. Please let's share the grace in fellowship. Surely, please make sure you congratulate at.